welcome back to my channel the day that you guys are seeing this it is august 16th and it is my birthday whoop, whoop. so go ahead and leave me a happy birthday in the comments some of you have already done it on previous posts i appreciate it thank y'all so much Believe your girl a happy birthday. It is my 33rd birthday. I am super excited, y'all. It is my Jesus year. So y'all go ahead and leave me a happy B-Day comment. So the day that I'm actually filming is the day before, which is Thursday. But you guys are going to be seeing it today. So today, the sale, the annual birthday sale is live in my shops. It'll be from today, the 16th, until the 18th. 33% off on the website and Etsy. I do use a code for the website, which I might be changing that in the future. I think you can do it without using the code, but we have a code for this one and Etsy does not need a code. If you guys have any questions about the sale, you can put them in the comments or you can send me an email and I'll be checking that. Also, the October kits have gone live. So this is our leopard pumpkin theme and these are the event stickers and the bill do stickers upside down and this is a uh, leopard pumpkins and we have our blue pumpkin theme so these are the main washi and the deco washi is the plaid and then these are the coverways kind of like that teal that chocolate brown navy blue and a little bit of a dark darker brown this is more like milk chocolate and this is more like chocolate and then the bill do stickers and I'm actually not sure which one I'm going to use for October. I at first said I was going to use the leopard theme because I hadn't used that one in a couple years. And so I was like, I love that one. I want to use it. But then I also like the blue one. So I don't know. Anyway, you can get them on sale this weekend only in the birthday sale for 33% off. And if you have not grabbed September, they are still available as well. So what I'm going to do, guys, is go ahead and go through my budget close out this current week and set up the next week usually right after this i get right into the cash stuffing however we have a new product available in the shop for getting one month ahead on bills i am finally at that place y'all where i am ready to start tackling the one month ahead challenge and so i'm a little bit perplexed on how to do it so once I get to that portion, after we do the budget, we'll talk about why I'm perplexed and kind of what my thoughts are on that. I would love to hear your thoughts as well, especially if you have already been working on your one month ahead because I'm a little confused. Okay, so let's get into it. So I need to go ahead and <laughs> cross this off because I'm gonna actually be headed to the airport after I film this video. I do plan on uh, vlogging this trip, so stay tuned for that video. Upcoming next week, I have car insurance due, the budget mom. I believe her pre-orders go live on the 20th. Y'all can correct me on that. Uh, but I do plan on purchasing her two of her planners. Also on the 20th, I have my Wi-Fi bill due. I have my Apple subscription music do as well as my epidemic sound which is a business bill and we are going into the end of this month which is crazy okay y'all so my only no spend day for this week was actually yesterday for you guys today for me which is the 15th i am not spending money as well as i had one coffee day this week so my coffee i actually think it was less than three dollars because i think i got a small hold on y'all yes so i ended up getting a small coffee instead of a medium and so it was one dollar and some change which we just round up to two dollars and this was on the 11th oh yeah okay y'all so i told y'all last week when i did my video last week that i was gonna attend attempt to go to the 7 30 a.m service at the church that I've been attending. And I went, y'all, I woke up at six o'clock in the morning and got myself together. I was about five minutes late. Nonetheless, we made it there in pretty good time. And I have to tell y'all, I really enjoyed it. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about it, but so the church has two services and the 930 service is the main service and it's very packed, like it's jam packed. It's four sections to sit in and all four sections are filled up in the 930 service but in the 730 service it was only two sections filled out of the four 
and it just felt so much more intimate and I love the church that I'm attending but I grew up in a small church and so it kind of gave me small church vibes and I was not mad at it so saying all that to say I will definitely be attending the 7 30 service again but that's why your girl needed coffee on my way to church and then let me go ahead and run down this past week with you guys because we talked about next week but not this week so I did make my trip payment for my January trip I did get my lashes done did not attend bible study and had one business bill Okay, so this is my dashboard and I'm continuing to work through my projects, to-do lists, goals, and habits. This is my monthly budget. I do not have any bills to update yet because our bills are coming out in the next week, but I did go ahead and update that my trip was paid and it was exactly what I budgeted for, which was $175. So let's go ahead and close out paycheck two and set up paycheck three. So we had no bills come out this week. For my variable spending, I have $45 left in my cash wallet. So I spent $485 and we budgeted $530. So the remaining money I'm gonna put in my saving challenges. Finally, y'all know it's been forever since I've had leftover money to put into my saving challenges. But finally we have some, honey. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna add all this up because only this category has a difference of $45. So I'm gonna do 125 minus 45. And so we ended up spending uh, 1080 this week instead of 1125. So 1080. And so our difference is a positive $45. And anything that you guys see in the video, it is linked down below in the description box. And so let's do our 45 here. We had a 45 difference and everything else was exactly what it was. Moving on to paycheck three. Okay, so this week for fixed expenses, all of our bills are due by the 21st of this week. And our expected payment amount for all the bills combined is $155. This includes my car insurance of $111, my Wi-Fi of $31, and my Apple subscriptions of $13. For variable expenses, this week I am stuffing $175. For sinking funds, I'm doing my regular 72, but then I'm also gonna add another 70 to a vision envelope that I just made, which I'm not really using as a sinking fund. I'm really using it, using it as more of a holding place, but I need to buy some left contacts, left eye contacts, so there's that. For saving challenges, I'm putting my rollover money from last week, so I didn't take any money out of my paycheck and I'm not gonna put anything under extra or unbudgeted. So this week, our total for expenses that came out of our paycheck from this week is 472. 472. And also need to let you guys know, I am putting $77 into my month ahead binder, but that came from last week's paycheck. I didn't do it last week because I didn't have the product completed for me to do it. But the money that you guys see me put in month ahead today is from money from last week's paycheck is not from this week. Okay, so let's move on to the weekly check-in. So we have quite a bit of money left over, so I'm gonna have to refer to my little wallet here. 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Spent eight, uh, $11 out of my gas envelope. I did not use that money for gas. That didn't happen. $3 in home. And I'm the one that, that will tell y'all it happens sometimes. Try not to make a habit of it, but sometimes it happens. And don't beat yourself up if it does. So I spent $37 in home. I have three left. And then eating out, I have $6 left in eating out. That means I spent $19. 
did not spend anything in meds and then beauty is empty so i spent the whole 340. so now i'm going to subtract what i spent this week from my remaining balance from last week For this week, which will be from August 16th to August 22nd, spending is getting a 10, gas is getting 45, groceries is getting 70, home is getting 10, eating out is getting 25, meds is getting 15, beauty nothing. And yes, I am going out of town this week, but it is an all paid for trip. So I did not have to budget any money for my birthday trip. The last thing I'm gonna do before we get into the one month ahead binder is update my expense tracker. I am gonna speed through this portion so you all can fill in yours while I fill in mine. Okay, y'all so this is my new digital product which you can create a one month ahead binder so it comes with dashboards and this is the dashboard that I have chosen which is the white dashboard but I also have two gray dashboards that come with it one where your letters are black and gray the other where your letters are black and white I have a pink dashboard with black and gray letters, a pink dashboard with black and white letters, and then a black dashboard with white letters. So all of the dashboards that have white letters like this one and this one and this one, you will need a photo printer to print these because photo printers can print in white. For your dashboards with the black letters, you can use just a regular, your well, your black and gray letters. You can use a regular printer with those. And if you want to use one of the white ones and you don't have a photo printer, you can probably take it to your local like FedEx or uh, Office Depot and they can probably print it for you. So the download comes with all of those dashboards. So you get six options for dashboards. And then it comes with 19 trackers bill trackers for getting a month ahead. So you have rent and mortgage, utilities combined, because my utilities are combined, streaming apps, so that's like your Netflix, your Hulu, Peacock, health insurance, cell phone, car insurance, subscriptions, which I think I'm using this for Apple, yeah, Apple subscriptions, Wi-Fi and internet, electricity, cable and TV, debts, life insurance. I have one miscellaneous tracker, but then I also have three blank trackers. I'm gonna show you guys. Car payment, memberships, and then these I did not cut. So you can see this is how the file is going to look when it's not cut. Water, gas, and trash. And the file also tells you how many icons are in each tracker. I mean, you could count it, but <laughs> I decided to go ahead and put it up there for y'all. So these are your utilities, if your utilities are not combined, like mine. And then I have three blank trackers with no headers. They all have 22 icons. So if there's other bills or things that you wanna save a month ahead for, you can, and then they all have totals at the bottom. And I don't know if you guys can see really on camera, but the trackers are like a light gray color. So you will just cut out around the gray area or you if you want it to be bigger than the gray area you can cut some more of the white space so with the blank trackers included you're getting a total of 21 of these trackers so what I have done is I've gone through each envelope that I need these are all for my personal bills I've put what the total of the bill is my rent is not exactly a thousand but it is near it so I'm just going to put a thousand and then divide what the bill is by how many icons I have 
and put what each, what each icon represent. So for my combined utilities, it cost me $100 approximately. So each of my icons is $5. And for streaming apps and so on and so forth. So let's get into it. So the dilemma that I am having with getting one month ahead is- I hear people say that once you get a month ahead, once you've saved all your money and you've gotten a month ahead, that you're then supposed to use that money to pay the next month's bills. My question is, if you are someone who is following like the Dave Ramsey baby steps, which is, or one of the things to do on that list is to save three to six months worth of expenses. I was thinking, wouldn't you save this money, get one month ahead and then put it up and then do it again and start to save for the second month ahead and then put that up and then save for the third month ahead and put that up. And the reason why I say that is because if I'm not mistaken, and you guys can definitely correct me if I am mistaken, but if I'm not mistaken, the saving for three to six months worth of expenses is to be a cushion for your household expenses in the event of a job loss or a layoff or some type of income loss. So if I get a month ahead and I just continue to pay the month ahead, how do I get to a point where I have three to six months of expenses of bills saved? With that being said, I think I want to save for a month ahead, but not pay next month's bills with it, but actually save it to start working on that baby step of having three to six months worth of expenses saved up in the event of income loss. But I would love to know what you guys are considering doing if you are embarking on this journey. I have pulled out 549 out of the bank, keeping in mind that 77 of this came from last week's paycheck and that's what's going into this binder. The other 472, I think it was, we had in our budget binder or budget planner came from this week's paycheck. I am going to put $46 in rent, 20, 40, five and six and this product is ten dollars but again with the sales going on this weekend you can get it for 33 percent off so my utilities i'm going to put in a five I don't know, like I like the idea of paying the next month's bills and it's like, I'm a, I'm a month ahead. I'm not paycheck to paycheck per se. But then I'm also like, but then if I do it like that, how am I gonna get six, three to six months ahead on expenses? I don't know, I really don't know y'all. That's why I say I'm so perplexed. Nonetheless, we praise God that we have started this journey. I have been thinking about trying to get a month ahead, at least starting to work on it for some time now. And it wasn't until last week that I really had like sensed in my spirit, like it's time. So this is my health insurance and I, I cut health insurance off too close. And my cell phone. And I may not be stuffing this every week, guys. I have no idea what this journey is going to look like, but I am excited that y'all have at least decided to follow me on this journey. And hopefully if you are getting started, this is will be a motivator for you. and subscriptions. I like keep closing the marker because it's a permanent marker and I don't want it to 
mark of anything but like i'm tired of taking the cap on and off so let's just try to be careful here wi-fi is going to get two dollars Ooh, this is nasty and electricity is going to get 10. Okay y'all, so we have done our first stuffing for our one month ahead binder. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I hope that you will check out the product if you want to get started getting a month ahead on your bills as well. Okay y'all, so for the saving challenges, we are going to be using the money left over from the wallet to stuff these. So let's get everything out of here. So let's start with the card challenge. Today we're gonna put in the 11 and the 14. And the 2025 saving challenge cards will be coming out. They should be out by Black Friday. I'm about to work on putting them into production this month. So be on the lookout for that. So 11 will do 10 and 11. I have 10 and 11 and this is uh one two three four five six seven eight nine plus five is 14. there we go okay so let's get this in here i think we can mm, put this here Okay, so that is our saving challenge. We have the 11 and the 14. And I kind of miss this, like I miss having leftover money and that's what I use to stuff my saving challenges. Like I've been taking, out, taking them out of my paychecks for a while now, but I miss having money left over. And it like motivates you to spend a little bit less out of your wallet. So yeah. Okay, next up we have my rose gold binder here that I'm going to take the card out of. And we're, we're actually going to finish August today with the 20. So maybe next week I can come back and maybe stuff a 20 from July since I did not finish that one. Oh, y'all, I did this with the wrong marker. I did this with a Sharpie. Dang, I didn't even realize that. I wonder if it'll come off. I don't know, guess we'll find out. So let me go ahead and flip to the August envelope. I knew I was gonna mix those two pinks up. Let me put that back over there and put this money back in the August envelope. And we're done with our saving challenges. Okay, so for our cash wallet, spending is going to get a 10. Yeah, I'm just not realizing I have a lot of stuff to do in this video. I'm like, let me hurry up. So this is not too long for y'all. Gas is going to get 20, 40, and five. Groceries, 70, so 50 and 20. Home is gonna get a 10. Eating out is going to get 25.
meds is going to get 15. And beauty is not going to get anything. I have some money, oh, I'm done with travel. I have some money that I need to put back in the bank. I'm gonna scan my receipts into my Fetch Reward app, a couple of coins, and my cards are back there. So now, let's get to the bills binder. Okay, so we have three bills to stuff this week to do a cash transfer for, and that is going to be our car insurance, Wi-Fi, and Apple. So car insurance, our premium did go down. So the monthly payment has gone from about 115 a month to 111. So 100, 10, and 11. So now our balance is at 916.98. And next up, we have our entertainment, which is my Apple subscription. For 10, 11, 12, and 13. It's 103.67. Lastly is Wi Fi. So twenty, eleven, thirty, and one is two forty five forty eight. the tracker at the back and that's all our bills for this week y'all we have I think one more personal bill for the month and that's gonna be my electricity so now we'll get to sinking funds okay so starting with our low priority binder I'm going to be doing the normal stuffings for this week so starting with birthday it is going to get $1 Again, I plan on going up this amount next month. So birthday has 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. To be honest, guys, I think I am going to actually take this money with me on my trip this weekend. And then we can start fresh in this envelope when I come back. And starting September, I'm going to start putting $10 into this, this envelope because it's gonna give me about four to $500 next year, give or take. And that's like definitely enough money to get beauty services and things done. So wardrobe got five, five, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And that's what I think I want to do. I think I am going to bring that money with me on the trip this weekend. Monthly savings is going to be getting a five. Monthly savings has 20, 30, 35, 40, 45. So we are almost at 50. Okay, outings will also get a five. 
and outings has 20 40 45 50 and 55 i'm super excited about this envelope it has been a long time coming because i used to spend money out this envelope all the time and i can never save and i'm just so excited now because it just takes the pressure off of like if something unplanned comes up you know you have some money to um you know buy what you need or contribute or whatever car maintenance is getting a 20. my light came on telling me it's almost time to get your car maintenance i was like oh goodness and we have 100 200 250 300 320 350 so I might be putting more money in here in the next week or so just to try to get us to $400 miscellaneous is going to be getting a two four one two three and four Gifts will also get two dollars. And in gifts we have 20, 30, 31, 32, and 33. Next, we have my God babies, my God children. I only have one God child right now, but more coming. Put it out there. So in God children, we have 100 in the bank, 20, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. So 144. And I am just letting this money grow. And we'll see where it is. <laughs> Lord willing, years from now. Okay, date night is going to get five. And in date night, we have 20, 30, 40, 45. It got five forty-five. And the last tracker that I went ahead and did, I mean the last envelope I went ahead and created or you know put a sticker on was for vision. And so it's not yet a sinking fund, to be completely honest, but I do want to eventually get to a place where it's a sinking fund so for now it's just going to hold some of the money that i need to buy my contacts so that is going to be all for this stuffing for our high priority binder and then i will come back with uh, the low priority binder and we'll get that stuff okay so for my low priority binder we will get started with this. So car registration is going to get $2. And car registration has five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. This is for next June. So June 2025. 
Next is personal. Personal is also going to get a two or get two dollars. So personal has 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Maybe I should bring this money on my trip too. I don't know. I think I will. You only have a birthday once a year. So, <laughs> and I feel like 25 is a good number. So we might be bringing this money as well, y'all. We'll see. Next up is emergency. That will be getting a five. A nasty five at that, nonetheless. So we have 1,200 in the bank and then 10. I did make a deposit of $30 when I did my cash condensing. So we are starting back at 1,200. Next up is giveaways, and giveaways is actually fully funded. Ooh, I need to get a fully funded something from somebody. Giveaways is fully funded. So the $2 that I was going to put in giveaways, I'm gonna put in car tires. So one, two. Christmas is gonna get a 10. For 100, 150, 160, 170. Holidays will get two dollars. And we have 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. So almost $50. That's not bad. My goal is 100. And because I had to start over back in April with my sinking funds, it put me at not being able to reach that goal. I don't think I'll have 100 by what, November with putting $2 aside. But I think we'll probably be around 60, which is not bad. And then car tires is going to get four. So I'm gonna do these two and then the two for giveaways. And I'm gonna start back stuffing giveaways after we do our giveaway. So car tires has 20, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Ooh. And then I, I did read y'all's comments about saying that like the 150 for two tires is really good. So y'all, I get my tires from Discount Tire. So the tires that I get, I've been getting these same tires now for probably, I don't know, eight years. And about eight years ago, the tires were like, $50 a tire, $50, $60 a tire, something like that. They've gone up since then. Now they're more like $70 a tire. So that's why two tires will cost me about $150. And so, yeah, y'all, discount tire. And if you get your tires from discount tires, you get free tire rotations and balances. Check them out. And so that is all for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you will follow me on my journey of getting a month ahead on my personal bills and that if you are interested in getting a month ahead on your bills and starting that journey that you'll check out my new product that's hopefully inspiring. And if you guys have any questions about the sale, let me know down below. Again, it closes on Sunday. It's 33% off in the shop. Get your October kits, get your one month ahead, principal and anything else that you need. Also, don't forget to tell me happy birthday, y'all. I'm going to enjoy myself. I plan on vlogging it so that sometime in the next week, you all can see what I did for my birthday weekend. So if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you back next week. Bye.